Hey, come on, son. I'm having a live chat here. came out so early good afternoon try to share this um try to share this i meant to have a chat in the evening but i will not be available so whilst i'm doing my cleaning up kitchen and cooking i will say what i have to say Good evening. Ah, say good evening. <laughs> I'm used to my evening chat. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. Akusimi Oni. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. Try and share. I know people will be in the church. But those of you that are around. Mm. Try and share. Hello, good evening. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I want to come in. Good afternoon. What do you want to tell me? Yeah, but I'm doing something now. We are still going out together in the evening, so you can yeah, we are going out together. You can tell me that when I'm done with my chat. Good evening, everybody. Ah, hey, help me. Good evening, Timon Soya. I'm so used to evening chats. Ah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I hope you went to church, oh. Uh -huh. And those of you at Asalatu, I know our Nigerian audience, those in Nigeria, they are probably in church. You know, Nigeria, they do throughout the day church. I hope you went to church, oh. Yeah, my own is online. I had a splendid time with my pastor, with my church, NSPPD. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Try and share. Try and share. I'll wait till we are 200. Then we can start. Oh. Hi, Sunday. Hi, today. I'll be washing and cooking at the same time. I'll be washing and cooking at the same time. Try and share. Also, I'm beginning to see owners of the courtroom. Are they busy? Uh, good afternoon. Are they busy? Oshibanjo. Sorry. I say Oshibanjo. Oshibanjo. You're all welcome. Also, how are you? Try to share. Try to share, okay? Try share. Good day, good day, Joyce. Again, again, should be. Are you from um, either Benue or where? Because I schooled in Benue State, so I'm. And there are some names that when I see again, it sounds like a Idoma or Igala name. Glory, glory TV. You're welcome, my darling. You're very welcome. Owners of the courtroom, please try to share. I'm going out with, they didn't invite me. I'm only forcing myself to go out with the boys. My husband is going out with the boys today. Now you say I go follow them, go. <laughs> because, you know, girls go out. You saw me and my daughter, we went out, I think last month, you know. Uh -huh, just girls outing. 
So they too, they do their own. So I said this time, it's end of the year. I'll follow them. So I'm going out with the boys. And they booked their own outing for, I think, 6 or 5.30. So I will join them. I'm going to go with them. So go and chop waiting. They won't chop. I'll go and bond with the boys. Okay, Edo State, SI Uromi. Oh, my husband place. Oh, okay. I schooled in Edo State. And my school is just 10 minutes or 15 minutes from Uromi. Ekpoma to Uromi. Okay, Isha. Oh, I know Ishan people, and that name doesn't sound Ishan, no. Hey, ah, very good. Okay, let me greet you in Edo, in Ishan. Body eye, you say Ofure. Body eye, you say Ofure. Then Bosha. Uh -huh. That's it, Nabi. Uh -huh. I know. At least I spoke. I say I spoke. I speaking spoken small. How are we? How are we? Why did they follow you when you went? Why didn't did, why did they follow you when you went with your no? They didn't, so they didn't. So I lie, <laughs> no, they didn't. Uh, no, but their own, I must follow them, you know. If I if they follow me, you know, like daddy didn't follow me because he knows his girl's outing, but me now. Nah, if he follows me, I have to spend, I have to use my money for him now. I uh, know. Uh, girl, uh, you know now, nah, women, <laughs> I want to follow them. So you are married to Edo. I'm not married to Edo. No, I'm married to uh, Yoruba Egba. I schooled in Edo. Grace, no. I'm not married to Edo. I schooled in Edo. I schooled, I went to Ekpoma. So it's very close to Uromi. You get to Iruwekpe before you get to Ekpoma. Uh, then after Ekpoma, you get to Iruwa. From Iruwa, you get to Uromi. I've been, to, I, I schooled there. How many years I spent there? You know, with because of strike, strike, strike. I was there for many years, so I didn't. <laughs> strike, strike. So I know Uromi very well, very well. In fact, I'm very close to the king, Aslam. Aslam, I'm very close to him because when I was in school, he was also in Edo Bini. If you look at my 21st year's old birthday, he was there. He was one of my guests. He's my friend. He's my paddy. He's not a, I can't see him now and say KBSC because he's my friend. His name is Aslam. I don't know. Uh, energy of Uromi. Energy of Uromi. When I was in school, he too was in school. We are age mates. He was in Uniben. I was in Ekpoma. So we all used to bubble together. Answer that used to dance disco. <laughs> Answer don't mind your disco. <laughs> he was uh, I don't know why he is now. He's my paddy. He's my friend. You know, he was a king from as a minor. I think he was only 13 or wow. When, uh, very young. I don't know how old they say he was when he became a king. You know, very young. But ah, we used to dance this me and ask them all of us. Hey, hey, you even tell me that I said that boy, you know, <laughs> this dance where they do outside. We go just, you know, when you see me for outside, suppose they do cabbies. I say, which cabbies? See, I beg, I say, go sit down. But you know, it's my party, he's young, he's a young man, he's a young man. Then he was young, no us wife, nothing. Hey, but go the bubble, hey, king, where they bubble, king, where they dance disco. <laughs> I wonder where he is now. It's been a long time. If you see your king, ask him, say Dolakpo. He will tell you, ah, Dolakpo. He will shout. He will shout. Because I've been friend. I've been good friend. Very good friend. It's my party. No party where they do, you know, go come. You go come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, remember what happened to those that did. <laughs> That's it. No, that one now, Mama Rubon, Mama 70, where they do cussing. No, that one, we not did that setting. Our own, now my own family, now, now my husband, I won't bond with the boys, make I go. I, I won't come out, you know, I won't go with them. See, now then, at the clean house, do everything, quick, 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 so I go, I go follow them. Ah, I don't tell them, that's why I'm doing early chats. I don't tell them, so I go, go. Make them carry me, go, make I go chop, waiting, they won't go chop, Chinese. I don't go chop too much. I go just take tea and toast bread now. When I finish cleaning, come they get ready. Whilst I'm talking to you people, I'm cooking. I'm already cooking. Yesterday I couldn't cook. I was uptight, you know. You're all very welcome. 
good morning oh yeah good morning in america and uh, as Jumi are i can see you my daddy sister they back in miriam you're all very welcome good morning good afternoon everybody yesterday i couldn't do chat you are all aware it's it was so tight for me even my see i will show you people now christmas uh, sales that i'm meant to do see the bags there sherry and bags here i haven't done any i don't know what i'm going to do i don't even know i'm going to meet up see those bags i can show you people i'm i'm not able to meet up time is not enough god help me i have clothes to do sales on for christmas i don't know i hope i will I we do as life takes me on i will the cope now darosha today's chat is for you it is quite unfortunate i can't sit down to address you it's quite unfortunate and i don't want it to linger on thank you my darling osai i love you so much osai god bless you my darling thank you you see my dear ones please i want you to help me listen to what i want to say i know all of you following this mobad's case yesterday gone we didn't want to talk about mobad at all because we had you know celebrity you know this our guy now he, brought, he, he introduced us to another babe so that was even what i thought i would come and talk about today said because yesterday i couldn't do it on the road because the thing kept on you know my network kept on acting up but in the course of the day yesterday i then saw that darosha had i will say it's a press conference <laughs> obviously it's an update and i saw that even 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 is it vanguard punch of vanguard carried it meaning it is authentic you know those kind of news line they are they are they are reliable it's not blog spot so that means that darosha truly all those things he said as i'm watching i will just talk on from the head for now when I sit down, I will then show you people. We can still analyze more. But I can talk from because I read it word for word. Yesterday night. You know, in the course of last week, I, I titled my chat. One of my chats, Darusha, was, was, was actually involved. And I called him out. I said... Darosha, in my list, you are among the suspect. And I, table, I tabled my reasons. In fact, Tim Mubad, Justice for Mubad, I asked them also that why is it that we, it's only speculation, no? we learned that Darosha is now driving mobat's car why because darosha is so involved in everything and he didn't answer one of the questions the one i asked him that we were told that is the one that went to clean up the house where mobat died where he died because mumi said that liam is having nightmares or nightmare in that same house therefore i don't know who rented the house but they said it's, the house is what where he, she moved to is worth six million i don't know how far that is true liam she claims is the one having the nightmare so she's moved out of that home where mubad bye remember karimo came to lie on me remember she said i am the one that is giving threatening mumi she claimed that and i told you people that karimo is trying to use this thing for refugee to seek asylum for mumi they are planning to use it to go to american embassy which that was uh, karimo's aim she lied on me she said i am bullying i am defaming I'm also 
in I uh, threatened to buy Wumi. Therefore, Wumi was having nightmares. You know, I'm always trying to make sure to get to the root. Now, who is lying? It was said that it is Liam that is having nightmare. And you people know that definitely a child cannot have nightmare. This, that's not true. You can move out from a home personally as you. But in the court of law, Wumi said she's scared. You understand? It, it's possible. It's possible that she's scared of reasons maybe people truly bullying her. You understand? People truly bullying her. You get me? So Karimo tried to pin that situation on me. Looking for headlines. But God passed her. She tried it with me. God passed her. I just decided to leave Karimo. Because I see that Karimo is the one complicating issues for that family. Especially the sister, Wumi. That's why I don't want to be minuting on her. Because you know any small thing that she can come and start abusing me. And I, I don't care. I I understand it. But ya woke or she's just like that. So I can't be bothered about Karimo. But that was Karimo's aim. But it didn't work out. So they they she used another. You know, she has said it that she's the one that brought her mother to America. So she wanted to use me to bring me to America. But along with Bafon, God is not always behind lies. Not even always. God is never behind lies. God is never behind lies. If you plan it, plan evil on the right person, the one that is also doing evil, it will work. But me, if you plan it for me, you will be the one to fall inside it. Because never a time have I have asked her, tender me a proof of where you've heard me bully Wumi. If I call Wumi's name, I will always say, in, with Adura, with DJ, with you know, and we always say they are all prime. So, in fact, we meet prime suspect alongside Adura and other. So, if you are not talking about Adura, you are not talking about DJ, you are not talking about nurse, then it calls for concern. Because they were all with Mobad. Last few hours of his life. Foremost, before I continue with what I'm saying, I want to say clearly here, I am begging Tim Mobad. These things I'm going to say this morning or this afternoon. I will plead with you people. Those of you fighting in Nigeria or anywhere or in diaspora. Me, I'm only talking. And I will see the truth and I will say it. You people need another lawyer. One who is focused, who is specialized in criminal law. I'm talking like this because of the update that Rosha gave. <sighs> Rosha gave. Fala no Ako, they are all specialized in constitutional law. At this point, Mubas case, case needs someone, a lawyer specialized in criminal law. And I will state my reasons. I don't know what Lawyer David is doing. Lawyer David, if you are hearing me. I am not impressed with all that is happening. I am not happy with all that is happening about Mubad's death. We have been talking about this thing for months. And it seems like we are not making any edgeway. It seemed like we are stagnant. It seemed like all of you have compromised. I wouldn't even use the word seemingly. I would say you have all compromised. Team Justice for Mobad, 
you people need to get a lawyer specialized in criminal law. And I will state every reason one after another here. It has gotten to that point. Why I'm suggesting that to you people. I hope you all listen. At this point, I'm of the strong belief. Nothing can change my mind. Moba did not die a natural death. Yes. Caught me. I am of the strong belief. I didn't see Moba in my dream. Emi Ori, Moba did not die. But with everything happening around Mobad now, with all I am seeing, I suspect that Mobad did not die a natural death. Sam Larry, they need to bring you back. And I will tell you people, as I'm mentioning it, please be writing that because it's as my head is narrating it, that's the same way I am saying it to you people. I will express myself as I'm saying it. I just need to calm down that I am not very angry. Darosha, come here. You know why I'm pitying you people? A lot, all of you, that that boy fed. All of you, that that boy helped. All of you, that that boy lived for. All of you. That that boy did not end up fulfilling destiny for. You all betrayed him. But boy, let that mobad. Not a single one of you will I exempt from this issue. And it's not only a shame on you people. It is disheartening that fellow Nigerians who have stood up to fight this cause with you people, you people want to make us look stupid. Mobad will not be buried until we know what took the life of Mobad. Take it or you leave it. If they like Mama, die, Mama Mobad, let the police be Telling you they have released the body of Mubad to the father. And you come out again and see come and cry. We are not going to listen. The fact that you have all wasted we that love Mubad, truly seeking justice for Mubad, you have wasted our emotions, our time, our energy. You want to turn it around and give us reverse psychology by saying that we are using it to make money. Meanwhile, you want this reason many of us to back off so that you people can go and bury that boy that you killed. Tepa. Now, you know I suggested, and I bet many other, thanks to all bloggers, thanks to many of you out there fighting this cause sincerely. Justice for Mobad. I want to appreciate you people. You will never encounter this kind of family. Or a friend. Or an uncle. Or a, a business associate. Like the one Mobad encountered. Your children, mine, will never encounter things like this. This situation. I pray. You know... We suggested, and I all personally, I'll talk for myself, that Baba Mobad should go and check. I have said it more than, I can't remember how many times, that they should go and examine the body of Mobad in the mortuary. If you have heard me say that, please raise your hand up. They are not allowing them. Enjoy Bawa. 
why are why is the person in charge the officer in charge saying that they are on on a course they've gone to the they are they are, they are on a course which course how does it concern a a mere carbon um cardboard like they say call our body when we are dead how does it concern who which who who the officer in charge how does it concern us how does it concern them they are going there the man has to break all protocol number one in yoruba tradition a man must not or a mother or father an elderly person should not see the death or a corpse of a of of, of a child or you understand as an a mother or a father or anything but because it is mandatory that they go and check all the body of this boy they are not allowing them with all effort now the claim is the officer is on a course more or less trying to stop him from going to check the body of mobad why what is it that you people are hiding what are you people hiding why are you people whoever is gone for a course who cares about the officer in charge who has gone for a course mobad's body after all when mama mobad came to you people nigeria police force it was said that hell mobad body has been released to the father okay so if it, it is good it is calm it is cool for the father to go and bury him but the father has refused to bury him until he is sure that all coast clear like sam larry said said all police stations settled like sam larry said all coast cleared all police stations settled why are you people not allowing him to go and check the body of his child why you people told us god not so well, you people told us god not so well, you told us that they will exhume this body. Your delegate, your deputy, went to Mama Mobad, who is surely not interested in justice for Mobad. She doesn't want to know what in by Mobad. She's interested in burying Mobad, but she doesn't want us to know. Re giving, doing reverse psychology on us that are shouting, that have been shouting from day one. We the true Abiyamos. We must know what in by Mobad. Governor Sawolu, you said that you are going to make sure your deputy they will tell us what by Mobad. You people claim you have taken the autopsy to America. I'll be wherever it was. We saw it. I read it in a real on a uh, 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 on the news line on from a reliable source. Because if it was a blog spot, I probably would say it's speculation. Till now, we are not hearing you people say anything about it anymore. The country is not talking to us. The state is not talking to us about Mubad. We want to check Boba's body. Every side, every part of his body. You people must allow us. The father, if Mumi is interested, and every other person, Lawyer from Falano, Mobat's lawyer, not Mobat's lawyer, Baba Mobat's lawyer, and these people that are truly for justice for Mobat, everybody, they need to go and check Mobat's body from head to toe. What is it? Why are you crying? That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Is it game? He's mad at you. Always. Always. Okay. Demola. He's went somewhere. Okay, don't worry. <laughs>
that's okay that's okay you know i'm having a chat now i will attend to you mm? i love you okay go and, go and play your game i will i will scold him for you when he comes okay okay all right i will give you something if you behave okay all right go and sit down okay i'm doing chat now sorry everybody every part of his body because i want those of you that are seen justice for more bad to listen to me i beg of you people when i try to find that stuff i don't find that based on speculation i always want to say it as it is Mobat's body must be checked from head to toe. That is still part of the autopsy. They said they've gone to do the tox toxicology in America and anything. I can't see anything happening. I see game being played here. I see game, sir. Governor Sawolu, Nigeria Police Force. I see game here. I don't know what is happening. I'm talking for myself. As one of the concerned citizens regarding the death of Mubad. No. We have to know what by that boy. That boy, now with what I, I, I am saying that they are not allowing them to check the body of that boy, I will say with, with no, I'm not remorseful, I'm not, I'm not going to take it back. They killed that boy. I have been trying my best to be very diplomatic. Assuming they are cooperating with everything. Then the delay of the autopsy. It calls for concern. Sir, they did autopsy for Steve Sylvester. The father is not convinced with the result. He's doing his independent um, autopsy. And he's... The son is still in the mug there. It's over a year. Sylvester is a young lad that the father suspects that his son was poisoned in Doen or Bowen College in Lagos State. He's still there. Why the rush for Mama Mubad? Why did she come out crying to the world that the police told her they have released Mubad's body? Okay. The things that we need to do to be sure that uh -huh, this boy, they did not kill him. Your police, Nigeria police force, they said the man in charge, the officer in charge is gone for a cause. Please, sir, look into this. Look into this. The Russia is your case today. All of you, you are all wicked. All of you, you are all wicked. Now I'm beginning to think, why is it that nothing is pinned down on Sam Larry? Please, can they give us the evidence? Evidence to prove to us that Sam Larry... Truly, Mobad was owing him two million that she, he was meant to come and play at his mother's barrier, and he did not turn up. Hence, the reason why he went around bullying, assaulting, disgracing, demeaning Mobad because of two million. Why did Wumi, in the first place after Mobad's death, who was she referring to? That they should take their trophy. They have by her husband. Who? We want to know. She said all his life. He was under threat. Sam Larry. Who was threatening Mubad? It is you. Could it be just because of two million. You were threatening Mubad's life. At a point Mubad became suicidal. We want to know. I am among the people that wants to know. Team Justice Mobad, you people are not working. Mm -mm. Nigeria Team Justice Mobad, you are not working. What are you people looking at? What is the lawyer David Abi? What's his name? 
is not working. He is not working. You need a, a, a lawyer specialized in criminal law. They buy Mubad. They buy Mubad. I don't want to know how, when, how they did it. But there is a conspiracy here. Because there's no reason why the police will not allow them. Baba Mubad, in the moment he asked for it, is they should just say yours truly to him. After all, it's his child. He wants to examine his body. Who the officer in, in charge or if he don't if he wants to be there, good. Surround them with police, all they need to do with a doctor. And himself and everybody, anybody's doctor should all be there. They need a must examine Muba's body. We they need a must examine Muba's body. Who are the people? And what is the reason why Wumi told us that blah 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 in you know? Threatening. They didn't allow him to have a good life. He died. He kinikon. He shaking kinikon until he's dead. Take your trophy. Who? Please, everybody. It's common sense. Who are the people? Sam Larry said. All station settled. No case. Why was it after the death of Mobad, within 24 hours, we got that on air? Governor Sawolu, it is not a curse. Your wife is a pastor and she's a medical doctor. You people are too quiet over this case. It should not linger on this long, assuming actions. Assuming action, yeah, you could eat it after the corona case. We are getting a bottle. You people should better get one specialized in criminal law because all this uh, constitutional law you people are using it's not, it has nothing to do with the case on ground. I can tell you people, K Bossman, with what I've been able to put together and I'm saying the crime or bad, not they, whoever paid more bad must be brought to book. We can't waste our emotions. We can't waste our energy. We can't waste our tears. True Abiyamos, those fighting this cause to see the end of it, we don't even care at this point. If all the ungrateful people surrounding Mobad do not care about justice for Mobad, we do. And we must see it's to the end. Sam Larry, the reason why I'm holding on to you is because I'm still wondering why in the court of law, Wumi gave no testimony against you. So I'm asking and wondering, who is she referring to that took a trophy? I want to know the people that took the trophy. I want to know. We want to know. We that have been talking. We want to know. Darosha. You are the one that embalmed Mubad. <laughs> Can I invite you to Ogun State? If you agree with me, I will make sure I come down to Nigeria. You should come and drink water of Ailala. That's all. Me and you, Darosha. In this matter, I've never committed myself to a... I want to raise fund for Lagbaja. I want to raise fund for Tamedu. But you, Darosha, you are the only one I want to tackle. I will come to Nigeria. If you tell me your location... 
All I need you to do is I la la between me and you. Just you alone. I want your your older ones and your mother's younger sister that once spoke the truth that she saw blood in Moba's house. Me and you, if you are truly all innocent, I'm coming down to I will come to Nigeria. And we go to Ailala. Just you. By the time you are down, I know others will go down. You know more than you have spilled on that your rubbish right up. And you will live to regret it. That depression you are saying that is going to be transferred to others that are talking about it, that are leading you to depression. You will see that depression. If nothing happens to you, people should not talk to me again. I want us to go to Ailala. I'm, I know that God will deal with you, but I want me and you. This case, as he pay me rich, only you that I know, I want to hold on to you. I want to use you as an example to others. So that they can begin to confess. Please, anybody that knows Moba's mother and Moba's mother's sister, they should release Moba's brother, uncle, Darosha for me. We should, and they should come too. I will come down to Nigeria myself. Everybody. We will do it public. It will be streamed live. You should just come and drink Ailala water. If he can respond to me, I will be so happy. The same way he wrote an epistle of his innocence. If he can say he is ready, we should, we should, you all should be ready. I will, I will go to Nigeria. I'm not going to say, go and meet. Mm -mm. I will be there. We will go and do Ailala. Because your own case, now you pay me pass. You were suffering. You were jobless. You were suffering. You were jobless. This boy took you people. Same way he came from ghetto. He was suffering as well. He was suffering as well. God opened doors for him. Many of you know his situation. He decided to bring his ghetto family around him. And you all want to cover up his death? Darosha is you, me, out of everybody. You know why I'm going to deal with you? Because you owe it more to Mobad. You owe the truth more to Mobad. That rubbish you wrote out. I won't say anything more than let us go to Ailala. Your own case. I want instant judgment for you. I want instant judgment for you. Pending the others that will go down with you. You, Darosha, I want instant judgment for you. And if you do not answer to this Ailala, then everybody should know that you are, have a hand in the death of Mobad. You know a lot. You know a lot. Mama Mobad, Emma Pelembe Yeke. So, the death of Mobad, you are there under your nose. Because that Adura's father went to. Uncle Riyomi, you are, you, me, I didn't see it too. Because that one I didn't see, I only heard, they said, your son, the son, the father. Mama, Mama Mubad. Ah. I knew him as she knew. Ah. So, your son, Adura, the son, the father. Because he went to Onkori Yomi. 
Because he went to Onkori Yomi. Please, what does Onkori Yomi stand for? The world at large, all of us. What does Onkori Yomi, st Onkori Yomi stand for? Mama Mubad. What does Onkori Yomi stand for? Truth, justice. So because Baba Mobad went to Onkori Yomi for truth and justice, your son, under your nose, the son, the mother, the father, ah, somebody looking to know what Pai Mobad, a boy that took care of you, Mama Mobad, 10 years and not see mommy. In fact, they said it's more than that. A boy that took Adura away from the dad when they said he wasn't behaving good and the father didn't have the energy and the money. A boy that took him just two years ago and brought him to stay with him. That same boy, your son, you so call him. Died. And the father is restless he's not getting justice for his death doesn't know why they are holding on to autopsy doesn't even know why you came out to come and be crying wolf release the son he's walking up and down his spirit is not resting let me bury my son without justice for the boy they are using you to tackle baba mubad and tackle we where do you think our tears well do you think we should put it? Where do you think all the energy we have been using to shout, shout, shout? Where do you think you just want all our efforts wasted? Then to cap it. Whilst you are alive, we are seeking justice for Mobad. The same man that will help us. You supported Adura to agree. You supported, because if you did not support, you should have told Adura to debunk that story that I never disowned my father. Like Darosha came out to debunk allegations, which I know many of those things, I'm going to explain it to you people one after another. Because assuming, in fact, when Baba Mobad went to on Kori Yomi, I was even looking. Is this man? Are these people well upstairs? He was looking for excuses for the Adura. He also looks for excuse for Mobad's older sister. When they asked about the two of them, he said, "Oh, people should not take anything personal with the Adura. The Adura is quiet. It's not posing. He's a quiet boy. I was seeing in my head. Is this man okay?" How can you be quiet over the death of your brother that is helping you? That is kind to you people. Then the other brother, the other sister, ah, ah, that one is married. The husband may not have allowed her to join the justice for Mobad cause. Can you imagine? What a family. I was thinking in my head, is this man okay? Looking for excuses for the children. When we can see that they are not actively involved in this justice for Mobad, glaringly. They are not actively involved, none of them. What kind of family is this? Then, to my own surprise, I learned Adura disowned the father over this. Tell me, why is Adura disowning the father? Because the father have refused that they bury Mobad until he gets justice. Can you be angry over such a thing? These people, all of them need to go to jail. All of them are prime suspects. Because Adura was right beside the brother, living in the same house with the brother. And somebody is saying, I want justice for this boy. We must not wait and fight this boy. For this reason, you disown your papa. You people should ask me, what did Baba Moba do to Moba, uh, Adura? What? At least, we should all say it. After all, Baba Moba told us publicly 
that he's been trying to reach his son and have not been able to connect with him. He has even called at one time that he should come and see him, but he didn't come. So definitely, they have not spoken since after Mobad's death. So what we warrant, I disown you, daddy. After he saw the daddy at Okori, your miss, please. This same Darusha is Mama Mobad's brother. Hello? Can you take this out? Yeah, close the door. This same Mobad is... Oh, mama, da, mama, Moba's sister, a eh, brother. Some are even saying that he's the nephew, but I learned his brother. Anyway, Moba's uncle. What is happening? What is happening? Enya Moab Adamo, Abe and Wo Wanironi. Can't you see something is not right with these people? Why are they not joining course? Why are they not joining course to seek justice for Mobad? Why are they not fighting this cause with us? Why are they not crying more than us? Why are they not fighting more than us? Why are they not interested in justice for Mobad? At least, Orabia Molilena, wife, eh, mother, Brother, uncle, why? Why did they all lie, ya? lawyer? How did Fala not get into this matter? We thought Fala now was for the public. We thought, personally, I thought Fala now came into this matter just the same way he came into Timothy's case. Lawyer Fala now, you are an activist, your attention is also needed. I thought you came into this case to seek justice for Mobad. The same way you'd seek justice for Timothy. Why are we not hearing from you? Why is your wife not talking to us? Because she was the one that went to represent the first day of hearing. Why are you people only talking to Wumi? Was that the way you people handled Timothy's case? What's that? I smell rats. Something isn't right with this case. Something isn't right in, with this case. What is really happening? I heard from Uncle Yomi. You know, I told you people, he said, they told me he's going for rally. He actually at the rally, he mentioned about Mubad. That when he got in, involved in Moba's case, that they have said tampering with his page. I will play it. I'm cleaning stuff here. I will play it. That they have said tampering with his case, with his page. Why? Why? If there's nothing you people are hiding. Why? Why are you people tampering with Okori or Miss Page? Because he's now involved in justice for Mubad. He said if it is Baba Mubad, that Pai son is going down. It will teach others, other fathers who pay their son. It will act as a deterrence to them. If it is Mama Mubad, she's going down. If it is wife Mubad, she is going down. If it is brother to Mubad, he is also going down. If it is uncle Darosha, they are all going down. If it is prime boy, going down. If it is Sam Larry, all of you, you are all going down. Isn't that objective enough? So who are the people tackling on Kuoi Yomi? I heard him say it. I will play it. Why are you people tackling on Kuoi Yomi? Why are you trying to silence him? Is there anything we do not know? God does so well, Hey, sir. Your wife is a medical doctor. Can you ask her, do autopsy take forever like this? Why aren't you people talking to us? We cried justice for Mobad. 
We, the public, cried justice for Mubad. Why are you people not answering us? Why are you people not talking to us? Why are they taking everything as if nothing even happened? Why is it the nurse, the nurse you people accused? Because it is the police that said, Nigeria police force, I'm suspecting you people. Your story differs from the witness, their story. What you told the public, the conference you people told, gave, had with us, told us, the story you gave us is completely different from what Wumi said. What is happening? Nigeria police force, I think they need to arrest you people. The people that primarily started this, the, the investigation. You people didn't do it right. I can clearly state that. Because the nurse is saying, all the medication you claimed the nurse gave the, 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 the uh, uh, Mobad. She said that's not what she brought she said she didn't give that injection and i can believe her over you people because all what you told us is different from what Wumi told us and you were not there so where did you get your narrative from is there is there more to this mobile death that we don't understand why are you people we don't even they know the nurse page Sharad, you people claim you remanded in court study why is it that they are not allowing her talk? The lawyer, lawyer David, asked that she also come to the court for the corona inquest. It was overruled. Why? Is there more to this matter? If the nurse says she did not give all, administer all those drugs or injection that was claimed, that was claimed, by the police that she administered that when they got to the house they made some injection and she said she's not aware what is happening nigerians there's more to moba's death my independent reasonable thinking i have sat down everything i have been thinking you know i told you people i said by the time the autopsy comes out Many of you will be shocked. This is because I truly thought they've gone to do autopsy. I told you people from day one, later when we say hearing the truth, I said when the result comes out, many of you, you will be shocked. This is because I believed that they've gone to do the autopsy. But I am surprised. Governor Sowodu, your wife is a medical doctor. She, she knows better. Why is Malbad's autopsy taking forever? What happened? Why is the cause of death taking forever? Why all these people hiring lawyer here and there? Lawyer Falano. Are you meant to be for the public or you are solely for Wumi? Why are you a lawyer for Wumi? Why? If Wumi is a witness, she doesn't need a lawyer. She's not been declared a criminal. Why are you solely working for Wumi? Why aren't you talking to us the same way you did during Timothy's time? It calls for concern. Governor Sawonu, you all have your children. Lawyer Falano, you have your children. You have your children. What happened to Mobad? If you people don't want it to repeat history in everyone's life that tries to obstruct justice for Mobad, we want to know the truth. Nigeria police force, I learned they have removed the one that was there that gave us the press conference. You do whatever. Whoever is there now, if you are acting or you are the original, we want to know the truth. If not, we are coming out naked with our breast in the midnight to place curses on everyone that knows our quite mobad and they do not want us to know. 
and they do not want justice to play and take his due course. We will come out naked. I'm a jade for it on Take it or you leave it. Darosha, it is me and you. I want to believe that Governor Sowolu will hear us. They still wait. Me and you, we need to go to Ailala. Darosha, me and you, we need to go to Ailala. I'm not have, I'm not joking with you. I've, I'm I'm challenging you, your mother. I be your you say your father is dead. That is true because of what you, you how you embalm your father. That's how you learned how to embalm people. What did you see when they when you embalm Mubad? Tell the world, um, Darusha. Tell the world. What did you see when you embalmed Mubad? Tell the world. You, me and you, because you are the one that embalmed Mubad. And I'm holding on to you. Because you, you know more. And you are the one that, you are even the one that should never betray Mubad. I do not want to go the route of justice for Mobad with you. When others see that you drink water of Ailala and your stomach swells, and you start to confess. Others will quickly start to confess. There will be remedy there for you. Antidote. You won't die. But if I say, if you refuse, if your siblings are be your auntie them, or your the two shakara we will leave you to buy. Yes. But me and you, if your family, they are sure you don't know anything, don't know more than you know, they should release you. I will come to Nigeria. They should just release you so that people will know that what I saw and what I have seen or what is happening, I, am, I have the clear picture. They should just release Mba, Mo, Darosha. Only Darosha, please. Mama Mobad, you can't cover it up. Maybe you don't know the truth. I want to give you that benefit of doubt. Darosha knows the truth. Adura knows the truth. Wumi knows the truth. Release only Darosha for me. Let me and him meet in Ogun State. Give me a date. I will buy tickets. All your family can come and they will do it public. Only Darosha. Only Darosha. The others can still be facing the law. Because we are not burying Mubad until we know what is by Mubad. We already know. We already know. We already know. We only want justice to take its due course. Mama Mubad, if you come out again and try to obstruct justice, if you try it again, try to obstruct justice, You don't, you don't, don't you know one thing that it's not only a woman that gives birth to a child that owns that child. The whole village owns that child. Hence the reason when we saw how you are handling Mubas case, we took, we took over from you. Awa biyamo, ati gbalo we. Kwa ati rikwe, oduro dede bege biya. Release your brother for me. Kawa Losili Ailala. Just release Darusha for me. Let's let traditionally let them sample. Carry sample. Where Snow Who is lying? Darusha, all those epistles you wrote, you know you wrote it. As your shallow brain is, you are a young boy. Who they decide that's a bad destiny, eh? 
by not being truthful. I pity you. Already any more bad show. If it be, if it's sure money. Already no say. How I wish he knew better. It is too late now. It is too late now. You see the reason why some people they don't associate with family when they make it. They move far away from them. Especially our family only jekuje. Our family that can sell anything, sell you for anything. Darosha could buy no bobo rubbish and nonsense to call you. All those rubbish you wrote. You have you have affected your destiny. You don't know yet. Just you come. I just want you to come. I lala will tell you. You see, when I lala is not, if you drink I lala, you are innocent, it won't affect you. Oh mama will buy any. And you will work out majestically. Ah no, everybody will clap for you and we will do it public. Live show bye. Laba fiche. Ah, ni she leni. Life. If you are, if you know that all those things you wrote, you don't know what you saw about Mubad. You are denying it. Just follow me. We can use up to five Ailala. I don't know if you will survive it. Just like you people are asking to do DNA in 10 different places. We can do Ailala. Maybe they will carry your body. With your stomach swollen to another one. You try, you do, maybe by the third one, you land and you see more bad. Then your sister will know that this justice for Moba that you people are not supporting us to get surrender the Russia for me. And let's go to Ireland. I'm from Ogun State, Omo Jebulemi. Omo Jebunimi, Bugurada Radao, Shiten She. Won't get at me. Oh, in sumi. Then you, mama, mama, mo bad. You came out to do reverse psychology to, for us. Eh? Oh, for one more power. Is that the justice for mo bad? The police told you. What is the police hiding? Why are they not giving us justice for mo bad? Why are they not allowing us to, the family now to baba mo bad to go and check mo bad's body? Why are they not allowing the po Baba Moba to go and examine his own body? Kill and hide. If nothing is on his body, why can't they allow Baba Moba? Why can't they allow Baba Moba to check his son's body if there's nothing? There's no reason to stop him. There's no reason to be giving us excuses. Eh, police is on course. Eh, police has been clinical. What's our business with police? The police, they have even failed us. They failed Mobad. Because from day one, when this incident took place, from day one, Baba Mobad was refused. What do they call this? A police report. He was refused police report. The moment Baba Muba went to the police and said, in Pikio, that's what they call him, they were meant to immediately stand up and go and do investigation. But knowing you people, what you people always tell us is, bring money. And of course, you know Baba Muba doesn't have money. Of course, Baba Muba doesn't have money. You people refuse to give that boy, that man, uh, what do they call it? Police report. Remember, Sam Larry said, All stations settled. No case. Could it be that Sam Larry is the one that stopped them from giving Baba Mobad police report? Could it be? It is common sense. All stations settled. No case. Why did they then refuse to give Baba Mobad police? Report. Reason why Baba Moba thought to himself, instead of allowing his child to now rally to be smelling, he told them, Bring him with me. Remember, Mumi told Baba Mobad, 
Go and bury him. Carry him to oh, your hometown. But daddy, she mo bit what he roku. Meaning, go and do a. Eh, I don't know. I don't know what they call it in English. Just the people that buy mobad so that they will roll kusha me mokoto me. The man said, I don't know anything about it. Oh, I only know Christian. He now went and started looking for how to get police report so that they can he can put his child in mortuary. But police refused him um, reports and they said all stations settled. No case. That's why Baba went to bury that boy in a hurry. Because if not, he will start to smell. Same Darosha is the same one that embalmed him. He said he lent it from his father. Now, that same Darosha in his Jagajanti's notes to the world, he said at the mortuary there, he was there amongst others. Bumi was there. Uh, uh, Baba Mubad was there. He said it was the people that work in the mortuary with the, the, with the ambulance that he gave money to, to go and buy casket because he was too he did, wasn't close to Mobad. You understand? To see it that his neck was bent. He only saw it on the internet. Hello, Darosha. Not everybody on the internet have chicken brain. You that have the liver to embalm Mobad. To embalm him, to go and keep him under the stairway. When his father came, they, the you people kept him under the stairway. Before he came, hundreds of people were already there. Davidos, the Kinikon, Aya, Kinikon, the people's lantern. I mean, what are the names they were mentioning? Lawyer was there. You people that can have the courage, that can have the courage, especially you, Darosha, you were now scared. When they went to buy caskets, you couldn't buy caskets. Yeah, it's now on the internet. You couldn't even move close to the casket. You didn't know that the casket was smaller than Mobad. But you were able to embalm him. You did the embalming. You did the blocking of nose. You put him on that stairway. You had the courage to do that. But you couldn't ensure a good casket for him. They were an extent that they had to break or cut his neck to put him in that the casket inside the casket. Darosha meets me at Ailala. Let us go to Ailala. All these things you said, we will only read your story. But go, go and cut him on soy. Show Tony, you will not drink the water. And you will say, I didn't see any, I didn't uh, notice anything. I'm so innocent. You will not drink the water. You will tell the rest of the story with, with in front of Mobad. You were at Mobad, Lemari Rani. That's all. They, they must release you to me. Mama Mobad. Aburo Mama Mobad, Toshim Soto. You are, you, you always say the truth. Though sometimes you compromise, but you say the truth. Release Darosha to us is a suspect. Release Darosha to us because Darosha was with him, was with Mobad father, was with Wumi. They were all at the police station. Who communicated with San Larry? That Baba Moba stayed in, in police station for three hours, pacing up and down. Who communicated with Sam Larry? To an extent, Sam Larry now got in touch. Who is the other voice that said, station settled, no case? Who communicated with Sam Larry? That Sam Larry probably was the one that told them not to give the medical reports. I'm using my brain. I'm not a fool. Who communicated with Sam Larry? Team Mobad. Team Justice for Mobad. You need a specialized person and an investigative journalist. All this thing I'm telling you is my brain. I'm thinking. I've been waiting to get autopsy results so that I will tell you people clearly 
this is what buy mobile but since it's not forthcoming let me give you people a little idea who communicated that baba mobile had to stay three hours three hours in the police station in the end they refused him medical reports in the end that's that's the uh, medical no the death certificates sorry in the air, even hospital didn't give a medical report. Death certificate they don't have. Because he didn't die in the hospital. They bought him dead on arrival. So hospital can't give him medical reports. Don't flag my 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 video. Me, I'm not fighting here. You can see I'm only trying to tell you people that you need a criminal lawyer. And you also need what did I say? An investigative journalist. Think about it. Three hours the man was pacing up and down at the police station. In the end, who communicated with Sam Larry? Why did the police eventually give a no no to him? Why did the police give, give a no no to Baba Mobad that the man was now forced? To go and bury his son. Then the next thing, when they were attacking Baba Mobad, that he buried his son alive. Karimo and Ko came out and said, Baba Mobad went to bury the son without doing autopsy. Meanwhile, nobody told us that Mumi was right beside, Darusha was right beside Baba Mobad. In fact, he left the child there with them and went to Ikorodu to go and create make a way for the, uh, uh, Mobad on that land that Mobad gifted to him. Woo. When we were all lynching Baba Mobad, saying by his son, why didn't Darosha write this is stupid, senseless, nonsense epistle that he wrote out when now they are now saying he's a prime suspect? Why didn't he write down all this rubbish story? That it all adding up. Why? He was the one, after all, that was handed the two million naira. The moment Baba Muba got there and he was still confused state, they came to him and told him the uh, PA to Davido. They want Davido wants to give him two million. He said he asked for what? Go and give it to Darusha. So it was Darusha that collected it. So Darosha, when he stayed hearing, they were now they went all those arasa went to Baba Mobad after they had buried Mobad. He was hearing, you know, this Darosha that we must both go to Ailala together. He must drink the water. When they were attacking Baba Mobad, he didn't write this useless epistle, this senseless ep epistle. His name was not even mentioned at all. It was there, Baba Mubad, when Orasa asked him, Baba, they said that video gave you two million. In why we have already started abusing him. We have already said, say, he already has said collecting money over Mubad. He has already said collecting money over Mubad. I was among the people that attacked him. I won't lie. There's nothing I didn't say. I even said the choir is speaking alive. He buried the son alive. That was when the man said, no, I didn't collect the money. It's Darosha, Moba's uncle, Moba's PA, that I told them to give the money to. It was then Darosha then decided to send one million to Baba and told Baba, after all, what people have been saying. You know, people were saying, look at the rubbish area. This boy was buried. He wasn't given a befitting burial. They heard it. And they all knew about it. All of them were aware of where they were going to bury Mobad. Because they were all together. They all went to police station together. They all went to mortuary together. Until their fa his father left him with them. All of them. 
Then he sent the money and said, they yeah, should use it to fence so that, you know, people. That was when the man said, the money wasn't with me. Why didn't he come out to write this useless epistle? He wrote, Darosha, you must, you must attend Ailala. It is time your family, they face the truth about all of you. You, only you, I'm holding on to you. We must go by. If they do not bring you out for Ailala, then you people should know that Darosha knows more than even what I think he knows. If Mobas mother doesn't come out to say, Yeye Kudi or the sister, all of them don't say, Yeye Kudi, we agree. Mo, Darosha must go to Ailala. Then know that Mo, Mo, Darosha knows more than even what I think he knows about the buying of Mobad. Then you said they packed the car. The car that you are with, that they said you were driving. Remember that same car? It was said the car has mechanical fault when at what point did it then become a car you people are riding so after the death of mubad when we assumed you people are money as you so said ten ronu ten daro ro ten k and she long by motor lord of mechan i expect that if the car is at the mechanic by now gone with that she claim for what we run in shame Continue, you, the wife, any of you remember that car? Continue, Roti. Darosha, you will also swear at our Ailala if you were not driving that car. Tio Bakin Shekwe and Nulo Kwe, Tofi Dikwe, Tango Nyo Kwe, Logbe Moto Nye Leo, and one rat, Facebook, social media, they've heard about you driving your brother's car. Is there something you know? And I know there are a lot you know. My own is they should tender you for me. Let me and you. If it's only that I owe Mubad, I'm ready. I will sponsor myself to Nigeria. Of course, I'm the one asking you to do Ailala. And I will bring you, your family, everybody should come. We are going to do a, a life. I will, if we are going to do four Ailala will stay like this. And I, four, we are going to do it in our Ogu State Village. Ijebu, omo Ijebu le mi. Ailala never lies. All these cover up people are doing at the court of law. Lawyer Falano, please answer us, sir. Are you for the public or you are for Wumi? If you are for Wumi, why? Has Wumi been accused of anything? Why are you a private lawyer to Wumi? For what? Mobad has a lawyer? Who is calling? Please don't call. Please do not call. I don't want anybody calling. Please don't call. I don't want anybody calling. Please don't call. Wumi has a private... Who is this person calling? Who? Hello? Better you cut it. Don't call. Nobody should distract me. Nobody should distract me. Don't call. Who? Why are you doing private lawyer for Mumi? Lawyer Falano, when you handled a criminal law case, that of Timothy, you volunteered yourself as a pro bono, which I think that's what you are meant to be doing in this case, because you are an activist lawyer. Yeah, you are a son. However, you are an activist lawyer. When you see cases like this that has to do with criminal law, you volunteer yourself. You are also using that to let people know that you are for the public. Okay. When I heard you are involved in this case, I thought to myself, yes, there's an antecedent about this man. This is what he does. He's done it in many cases. In fact, the latest one is that of Timothy of Blessed Memory. Okay. In this case, what's happening, sir? Are you Mumi's private lawyer or you are for the public? Because your wife said the first day they did the inquest, she said, I am for the family and the public. 
I still have that video. So, I don't understand. Is it pro bono or you are being paid by Wumi to be a lawyer? For what, sir? For what, sir? I'm confused. I'm lost. For what? I expect this case is we, public, you, activist, lawyer, against Sam Larry and whoever by Mobad after knowing the cause of death. I expect you to be giving us feedback, to also be fighting for the result. What is happening regarding the autopsy? Please, sir, who are you for? If you are for women, let us know. So we know that she's paying you for your job. Then we also understand that, okay, you are a private lawyer to Wumi, but I do not know why Wumi needs a lawyer. For what? Is there any accusation? Is she being accused or is she culpable? Have the DPP said anything? Did she hire you or you volunteered yourself? The same way you did. Because during Timothy's time, you refused to be paid. Uncle Riyomi told us in public. What is happening? Please, can you enlighten us? We are lost. I don't expect me to have a private lawyer for anything. It's not a joy. Or it's, not a, it's not a good thing for me to share this. But I bet I've shared it with owners of the courtroom a few times. I have been in Wumi's situation before. Not Wumi's situation in the area of husband. May we not experience that. But as my child, I've lost a child before. Who slept beside me and did not wake up. His name is Mustafa of Blessed Memory. Okay? I was surprised. I was the prime suspect. The first thing they did after Mustafa, even though what really happened was Mustafa was already dead in the house. I woke up to go and wee. And by the time I came back, I saw I had two babies beside me. One was older because I got pregnant over a five months old baby then. So my older boy, that one was a year plus, while the other one was a baby, the younger brother. He slept and didn't wake up. I woke up in the middle of the night to go and wait around 1 a.m. I came back. I met one breathing. I met the other with a touch, a little blood by his mouth like this. He was already gone. I didn't even know he was dead. To so fast forward it, by the time the ambulance came, I think they have told the pastor who came in that middle of the night because I was alone with the children. My husband wasn't around. I was alone with the children. In fact, when, they, when my daughter, my firstborn, was able to call the ambulance because it was daddy we called first. That Mustafa or me, Mustafa or me. My brain went. I didn't even know my name. My daughter... My daughter, my husband calmed my daughter down to call ambulance, gave her the number to dial. She was the one that called the number. When, they gave, when she gave back the phone to me and they told me to call the address of my house, to God who made me, I didn't, my head was blank. I didn't know my address. Thank God my daughter was old enough to be able to tell them the address of the house. And my husband was on the phone too on another night. That was when my husband was telling my, hus my, my, my daughter to try and call the, pol the, the pastor of the church I attend then, Pastor John Tori Shemoshi. What am I saying? He's alive. Pastor John is very much alive. My son was already dead in the house. By the time the ambulance came, they came with police. It was as if, I can't remember how many they were, but I can think maybe they are up to 13 people. Guess what? Can I shock you people? The police, excuse me, that noise is too much. The police did not leave my house that day. Can I shock you? 
as they were, ambulance was carrying my child, they ran to the hospital. They did first aid. They did resuscitation. I remember baby food and blood. I saw it on the chair. I was shaking. I was cold. I was hot. I was cold. I was hot. But I remember my pastor came and when the pastor and the wife came, the police told my pastor that the ambulance have to take the boy because I think the ambulance, they told the police that the boy is gone. But they, they have to go to the hospital with him. And when they got to the hospital, then the police, on saying that the pastor was with me, the wife was around, they told the pastor's wife to stay with the other children. And me, my pastor drove me to the hospital. Police were stationed in my house. By the time I was coming out with the police, with the, my husband, um, the pastor from my house, all that backup police, what did they? Who can go pam 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 pam? I don't know why. I was thinking, ah, even the baby, they've taken the baby now. So, by the, my brain is not thinking. She ain't told you, I got to the hospital. I got to the hospital. The nurses were going up, down. You can tell there was tension. They put, took me and the pastor to a room and kept us there. Meanwhile, they were working hard on Mustafa to see if they can bring him back. My pastor used me to, to preach for a long time, if as long as I can remember. Because he kept saying, have you seen the loss he has never seen a pain greater than a mother losing their child. Because of why? I will tell you people. When they came to call me from the waiting room where I was sitting, I wasn't even alive. More walaye as a human being. But my brain, oh, the law, blank. They came to call me from the waiting room with Pastor John Terry Shemoshe. They told me, doctor, nurses, up to eight of them. They said, I have to come with them. I followed them. Pastor followed me. On getting to the, the place, is like a theater. But it's not theater. I think they do all this press up. I don't know what they call this thing. I saw some things in my son's mouth. And I heard nurse. They were on both sides, all side. But I remember pastor was somewhere around me. And the, past, the doctor said, Ma'am, we tried. But he was already dead on arrival. We only tried to resuscitate. Which, you know, they tried to talk. Those very short things they said. I can't remember more than they said. Are they allowed? Can I give them the permission to remove one thing that that, that thing I'm seeing pumping is one thing. They said, I can't remember the name. They mentioned the name to me that I should give them the permission to off it. I don't know the name now. Medical scholars help me. There's something they said I should give them the permission to off it. I then said, I looked at my pastor. Because that was where I needed my pastor to wake up my child. I wanted Mustafa back to life. I looked at my pastor. Okay, Is he going to allow me to say yes? That they should remove the machine. Okay? Even before they brought him to the hospital. You understand? But they are just trying to resuscitate, bring him back. But it's not working. I was now looking at my pastor. Life support. Thank you, Shola. Over there, God bless you. Life support. I fell down. I held my pastor's leg. Like he should be the one to answer. I expected him to say, Talita, kumi, arise, little child. I expected, I wanted him to wake up. So I fell down and held his leg. Man, yes, okay. When this woman held my leg, we had to seize. But fear not tell, not fit tell and say, 
Ha! Oh, oh, me? Until I saw something like I want to offer Shubu. He said his heart. I don't know where I held it. Oh, only oh, that way, Kinry, lucky venue, Muni. I held him. I held his leg. I was in pains. I've never, and I will never feel that pain again in my life. To me, you need to Mama. My pastor was, I don't know if he was falling over. I just noticed that he was like this. When I realized that he wasn't, he, 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 his face dropped because he couldn't help me. God had taken that child. I went, I stood up. I just turned. I said, I think that was all I could do. I just, everybody held me. They were still asking me that they are bringing him to me, to hug, hold him, to hug him. He was lifeless. That they were going to bring him to me. And they did. They wrapped him. I was withholding him for one good hour. And I wasn't saying anything. My heart was blank. The loss of a child. My heart was blank. He wasn't sick. Hell, just like Mobad. Hell, hearty. Nothing. We were in the hospital. Until later, the pastor then said, I should start going on. We were, no, we were both not talking. We were both not talking. No single tears for my eyes. My head was blank. I was literally physically dead. Spiritually, not alive too. I was physically dead. Or maybe spiritually alive, spiritually dead. I don't know the English to use. When I got to If you see the amount of these people, I don't know, they were coming out with, they were all gods. This first time I saw people all wearing gloves, everything, everything like that. My house was tapered with yellow and black. They were, you know, like a crime spot. They didn't allow anybody. All my kids were downstairs in the living room. Nobody was allowed all that part, my, my son's cot, all everywhere upstairs. Where I said I went, the toilet I said I went to go and we and keep. Nobody was allowed upstairs. It was all crime spots. Crime spots. People were coming in and out. Police were on back. Later they told me they are forensic. And later they told me I was the primary suspect because every other one person in the house they were minors i was a suspect for the loss of my own child they didn't tell me then no it was later how did i then know i was a suspect it was later the dpp after the pathologists have advised them, I don't know what forensic who advises them. It was then they told me that all results on the forensic shows that there's nothing that shows that I have a hand in his death. I am it, ja, Moni. Ah, was I a suspect? They said, the woman said, we are sorry, but that is the normal procedure. She's a policewoman, TPP, but you know they are independent. She then said that the only thing is that now they are going to carry out autopsy on my, my son. Incident took place in September. And I was called in in January to give me a comprehensive result of the cause of death of my child. Incident took place in uh, September, end of September. 
the uh, autopsy was carried out. Uh, I'm coming, honey. My, you know, I said I was going out with my family. The autopsy was carried out in November, o October, yes, uh, uh, in October. Then they called me in, in January to tell me the comprehensive result, and they buried him. It was that same hospital where they gave me the result. Myself and my husband, my husband had come in then. Then they, 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 they were that uncle, that pastor John was the one that went to bury him with Okujide. They are my church members. We didn't follow them to the burial ground. But the the uh, what's the name of these fathers? They were stationed there for us because after the autopsy, they gave us his body. They laid him in state for me and my husband. Because my husband had not seen anything. You understand? So he came in. He joined. And later it was that pastor. Pastor John Tori Shemoshe. Why am I sharing this with you? I was the primary suspect. Assuming my husband was here. He would have been a primary suspect. With me. Remember the case of Madeline. I'll be more in one of these European countries. The parents were suspect. The boy, the girl that got missing. So what are we talking about? Lawyer Falano. What are we talking about? I didn't hire any lawyer. I'm not guilty of anything. I know I'm innocent. So why would I hire a lawyer? In fact, I didn't even know I was a prime suspect. I lost a child here. So why would I go and employ the service of a lawyer? When I know I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. So why is it that you are answering to only women if truly we are not hearing from you, the public, or the family of women or Mobad generally? Why aren't you talking to the father of Mobad? Why aren't you talking to others? Why aren't you talking to we, the public, that are fighting this just cause? So it, it, it goes to show if it is true that you hold it all, or if it is Mumi that employed your service, why? I have a question mark to that. She shouldn't have a lawyer. For what? Is she? What? Why? 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 She shouldn't. If, if, if Mumi. She's innocent as far as you understand. You people are saying. Why does she have you as a lawyer? For what? What are you coming to, you know, defend here? I'm, I'm lost. Can you please, lawyer Falano, I expect that you are for Mobad, justice for Mobad, and you're supposed to be giving us information on what pied Mobad, and also to help us get the cause. The reason why they are gone for Riyomi is because lawyer Falano, as an activist, the part he played during Timothy's time, I think you have, I don't understand what he's playing in this case. Who and what you are, do you stand for here, sir? Because I have told you my story. I never got a lawyer for myself because I'm, you know, I don't even understand. I, what, why will I get a lawyer for myself? My child died. And in the end, after autopsy, it showed that it was natural cause of death, which meant I, nobody had a hand in his death. So what is happening? I'm lost. What is happening? Lawyer Falano. Governor Sawolu. Lagos is working. What is happening? Why are the Nigerian police force? Why did they exhume Boba's body to dump it in the mug? And they are not allowing his family his father and co to go and check examine his body so we know what's the cause of death at least examine his body that at least will give us another rest of mind what's happening what is happening can you people please police force who day sir commissioner of police we call upon you sir in the beginning you were very active why have you gone silent on us? Who there is, sir? Commissioner of Police, we are calling upon you. We still stand. Justice for Mobad. 
We are still here, Gidi Darosha, you have scores to settle with me. Let's meet in Ogun State. I need you to do Ailala. Only you that I need in that family. I expect your sister to surrender you to me. In company of them, not that me will carry you, in company of them and the Ailala people, they were doing it in public. The whole world, they are going to do the Ailala. Because you people, we need you to tell us the truth. Darosha, you are answerable to this. All this epistle you wrote, you wrote, it's not adding up. You are so guilty of many things. You are not yet talking. You are guilty of many things. All of you have betrayed Mubad. That's why many people run away from family after they have searched, suffered, labored, struggled. You people are his weakest link. You know the truth. You have refused to tell us the truth. Darosha, the only thing I beg Nigerians, to help me go to Darosha, go to Mama Mobad, go to Mobad's mother's younger sister, surrender Darosha for me. Tell me the date. I am ready. I am coming to Nigeria. Let us go to Ailala. Darosha, I am so strong. I know me. You know more than I'm thinking you know. You need to, you need to say the truth. Or let, I don't even want you to say anything. Let's go to Ailala. Just me and you. I've said it in front of all of you. Help me call Darosha. That I do not want anything else from Darosha than issue because why I'm hurting over Darosha is it that he really betrayed Moba? This is somebody suffering, my people. No job, jobless. Related to Moba's, it's Moba's uncle. Who the Fuenishe? Owa Kuton? If we call your boy, you are even writing rubbish. All what you wrote is rubbish. Rubbish. I need you to surrender. I need you to surrender yourself for Ailala. That is the only thing I've come to tell the world today. And Baba Sawolu, you people can't play with our mind. You can't toy with our brain. We must know what crime will bad. If not, the spirit of Robad will roam around. Yes. And it's your ballet stand here. They are the people that buy Mubad. If spirit is roaming around, you don't have the hand in his death. He can't do anything bad to you. So, yeah, Mubad, go and sit down. Take several seats behind. Telling us that Mubad spirit is roaming around. So, the people that buy him, to go and, uh, they should be living in this world and be enjoying this world. No, they must join him or they rot in jail. Anyone that has a hand and anyone that tries to obstruct justice for Mobad, the cause of death, what by Mobad? Because me, I'm telling you, I already knew. That's why I was telling you people, wait for the result. But it seemed like if they want to compromise, I think they didn't even do any autopsy. They just wanted to keep us quiet by going to exhume his body. Okay, okay. We want to know what by Mobad so that anybody that has a hand, Abby, case, case, as long as you have understanding, pere to bon ko kon lori oro mo bad. Esom esom a ke lori. Ah, nigba, we are not burying mo bad until we know and get justice 
for Mubad. I've tabled all your reason. Darosha, the ring is for me and you. Let's meet. It is time that I use you as a scapegoat that Ailala truly works. Yes, Ailala works. I want to use you as a scapegoat so that everybody will know that I know what I'm saying. Darosha knows more than what he's saying. Tell the family to surrender Darusha. Let us meet in Ogun State. And we will do it public. Bring all your family. Bring all your family. Let them hear you begin to confess. I can't come out this evening. Take it. This thing I've come to share with you people. What you should grab from it. I've addressed everyone I want to address. I will advise Team Justice for Mobad. You people are still loyal. Lawyer David is not a lawyer. It's not good enough. Go and get a specialized lawyer in criminal law. That's your you people's advice. Team Mama Mobad, surrender Darosha to me. I need that he shy lala. I want you people to know. I like Moreni towards Mobad. Oh, Dale. And it's about it, Dale. Oh, God, oh, Bale. Lawyer Falano. I don't understand if you are an activist lawyer or you are a lawyer for Mumi. I need to understand why you are only giving account to Mumi or if it is true that Mumi hired you, let us know so that we will stop taking you as an activist lawyer. Governor Sawolu, what is happening? You acted as if you were interested in this case. You even gave the... Uh, you gave us assurance you understand that we're going to get justice for Mobad. You understand? You updated for us. You made us think that this is all about justice for Mobad. You will make sure you get it, get to the root of this matter. Advise your wife to advise you. She's in the medical field. Autopsy does not take this long. What is happening? Did you people truly do any autopsy? Or you are just using yours to cash crews? Nigeria police force, you have all compromised. I suspect foul play here. Who is Sam Larry referring to? All stations settled. No case. Who? Why? What is happening? Sam Larry, you have scores to settle with us. You are still going back there. You have a hand in what quiet mobile. Tender us a proof. Where and the contract you had with mobile that he never turned up for a barrier. And that is the reason you kept his life miserable all throughout the days of his life. Till he went to be with the Lord. Eventually, you also said, All stations settled. We are case close. No case. What do you mean by that? Okay? Wumi, I do not want to believe that you hired Falano personally for yourself. Did he come to you or you went to him? What is really happening? Is there something you are not telling us? Why do you have to hire a lawyer? Are you culpable of anything? I want to know. Adura, so it is true. You truly disown your father? Wow. Can you give me a reason? And you call yourself Mobad's brother because your father is seeking justice for Mobad to let us know. He went to Riyomi. You chose to disown your father for this reason? <laughs> I wouldn't ask you to come to Ailala. Reason is because of Omeji Okinshenyo. I pity your father and your mother. And the person I'm going to hold accountable for you is your mother. So she's alive to see you disowning your father. Hmm. All this, I want you people to hold into account. Now, Aburo Mama Mubad, I want to believe you are truthful a bit. Okay? I want to believe. family And I want you, I'm holding you. Bring out Darusha. Let us meet. At Ailala. Only Darusha. Nikonimoni. If not. Eteninu Dada. Eteninu Dada. Thank you so much. Bye everybody. I love you people. I have to go out. I can't come out this evening. I love you all. Bye.
Let me try. Mm. Tell your brother that I'm here. He should bring down his voice. Mama. Oh, I need to be here for it. Mama. Mama, can you tell your brother to bring, can you remove your earphone? Tell your brother to bring down his voice. Can you guys know where your body is? You're all very welcome. It is absolutely very cold. I'm just coming in. And I gave myself a nice slice of bread with stew. I made stew yesterday. So I ate bread. So I'm stepping down with tea. And I won't stay too long. Because I think I need to go to bed early. You're very welcome. How are we today? How was work? Some of us are still at work. Some of us are back. Um, this was how I went to work today. It's very cold here. It is very cold. Absolutely very cold. <sighs> you know, many people will think I'm coming back out later in the night. No, I'm not. And I'm done now. That's it. The weather is really dark. You know, for those of us that are abroad, the weather is very dark. So, you're all very welcome. Fine. Fine. Thank you, Grace. How is the weather? It's very cold. Which country is that? It is really cold, though. It's minus. It's very cold. Which country are you in? Which country are you in? Mm -hmm. Ah. Ah. Netherlands. Ah. What was I discussing today regarding Netherlands? Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Whilst I was driving back, I heard African CEO TV talking about Hague. You know? Um, you know, that's where the European court is. The Hague. So he said something about Hague, them streaming something with Astra something. So I think that was where I heard it from. But I have not, I have not heard much from what he said. The African CEO man that went to Uncle Yomi. Okay, you call it Den Hague. But we, we, is that not, <coughs> there's one we spell as H-A-G-U-G-U-E. Is that the one in Netherlands? The one we spell H-A-G-U-E. It's a court, European court. Is that one, is that in Netherlands? Ah, 
I don't know if I have a good network. Oh. That is the English way, ma. Oh, the way I am spelling it. Oh, that's what, you know, the, you know, European court. E, when, West, when I was doing EU law, when I studied EU law, that's the court that um, you will see a lot of lawyers that are EU lawyers. Uh, they want to visit that place because many cases, EU cases are heard in that court. When you say you take a court, when you say you take a case to EU court, that's the court. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. 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 You're all welcome. How are we? You're all welcome. How are we? How are we? Okay. Zara Pamela, very welcome. Now, I'll quarry on me whilst I was out there. I saw many of you tagging me. I want us to be up to 200 before I start. So try and start. Let me see what I can show you people. The things that are on sales. Huh? The things that are on sales. I don't know. All these tops. They are all taking bejade. We are king. Ah, that motor she one hand way. We are to real to two to mummy. You know, I don't like doing, doing selling when I'm not home wear. See, if you are interested in stuffs like this, we have them in different sizes. We have, we have this. These are small sizes. Stone top, they are all designers. We have um, polo for boys, ready to go. They are all designers. Yeah, this is size eight, ready to go. They are all designers. They are all Paris wears. This one comes in two colors. I don't know what sizes are left in this. Have it in my wall. Yeah, this one's it comes in two colors. Subject to size availability. Most of them 25. 20. They are all on sales. I don't know the sizes. I'll have to check them. Let me see. This one is large. Okay. This one is size 14. You see? Size 14 is really nice. I don't know this one. Let me see. This one is size 12. But it depends. I think I have different sizes you understand i have different sizes in them see if i show you the things that i want to do for on sales <laughs> look at them here i was meant to do it on saturday see can you see big big bags of it's all clothes that we are I have to do sales for. I need to do sales. I packed them here. But I couldn't on Saturday. Tight schedule. They are all, the clothes in there, they are all on sales. I don't know how that will work before Christmas. I don't know how I'm going to meet up. But you know, there are some that the clothes is remaining to only two sizes, three sizes, so it's not it's not that I have to, but I have to showcase it. 
I have to showcase this. I was meant to do it on Saturday. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm still very confused. How I'm going to do it. You're all welcome. I purposely wanted to do this before I go to bed. Um, I'm not too... I'm tired. Okay. One, yesterday, have you people heard anything from Darosha? Men, ye ye. That's your that's your video yesterday was fire. I keep watching and watching it to have never seen you that serious before. Kudos mama. Hey my darling Lindsay Queenetta, how are you, my sweetheart? How is everything? Yeah, it's just um you know uh, I see a lot of conspiracy in that boy's matter. I see a lot of conspiracy in that boy's matter. It's sad. It is it is sad. It is pathetic. It is pathetic. It's sad. Um it's very sad. Before anything, I know I watching from United say thank you. See, uh, I was called, I was actually given a call by mommy Oy mommy 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 aluko last week. I forgot to tell you people. In fact, she had to see me at work because it was a video call and she kept calling and for me to see Oida and I talked with Oida but I forgot. Yeah, yeah, Kairo said on Abio that child can be switched. Did you see the video? You know, they said they mentioned it at Westo, Abi Westo. I don't know who that is. You know, did you see the video? You see, all those things are distraction. Don't you think so, Queenette? All those things Karimo said. You know, Karino, Karimo, she's the one that complicated issue to this extent in the first place. You know, so, except you see the video and you, are, you can hear her talk. Or Karimo, you wish you leave it one side. Before she go and use me to chop her duro for her sister, I don't want to. Um, except you see it, that she said it like this. You see the video. I don't like um, they say they say like that. I don't. I know they. I know they jail for those things. Now, Oida. Good thing is I don't know the message. Um, this the uh, Mama Aluko dropped for me today, but this is the picture of her today. Our daughter that on this platform we took care of, we did surgery uh, on this platform. You all contributed, you know. The face was quite big before it was um, an infected bone, upper bone, upper chin, cheek. And if not for you people and God especially, and with the help of Mama Aluko being our idea, and thanks to UCH Hospital, Ibadan. Oiba, Oida is back on her feet. In fact, if you see Oida doing video call with me, she, she was telling me, I love you. Ah, you don't believe, you, you know how I felt. I, I, in fact, I think I even promised her so many things. I didn't know when I started from. It's true that when we worship God, or not, yeah, God worshiping, she didn't worship me. She only expressed gratitude and love towards me. Uh -huh. But it is true that when we go and all those things that when you dance the David's dance, God will give you unimaginable things that you don't expect, even when you don't ask. He will just open an open check, give you an open check. You now you go do the right. In fact, I didn't know when I was asking her, what do you want for Christmas? What I was just saying every, anything. I just gave her an open check. She's so lovely. In fact, now it is this this wound, Abi, the infection and the situation she had that made her really a quiet or someone that she talks. 
she was so vibrant she was so i mean eloquent she was in short and i was i just gave her an open check i said what do you want for christmas and i saw the other <laughs> I so much love her. I, I told her, I said, when I asked the mom, because they did video call, mommy Aluko was with them in the hospital, because she goes to the hospital. They called me on video call, and mommy Aluko, because I, I needed to ask her, I want to know when they will discharge her completely. But she's yet, you know, until I listen to this voice notes now, I don't know what mommy Aluko said there, but as at when I went, spoke to her, she wasn't yet completely discharged. So I'm happy to tell you people that your money that you gave Onida for this major surgery went a long way. If, if it's only that I'm able to achieve this year, I think I'm happy. That we didn't come yoku I am happy and I'm thankful to you people. Every one of you that supported Oida in prayers, in giving, in, you understand, caring, in support, in any way, in love, thank you. Oida is fine. In fact, even the dis, uh, disfiguring that the doctors env envisage, they are, they are, in fact, they are in awe of God. Because as at, as at now, Oida is healing fast. I have not heard the message they gave me today. But as at last week that she did a video call with me while she was in the hospital, they are, the doctors are happy so far. And the healing, they are even marveled. It means that we put God first. God went ahead of us before that surgery. Thank you for the help. The thing I want to tell you people now, because I have not done chat on that page. I, I promise Mama Oida I, with you people, and I pray you people can do it with me. That's... We are going to buy our second-hand clothes. We'll go and buy it from one place called Letter Ken. I was hoping to use stars that you people will give me. But you know, I have not done chat on that page. That, no chat on that page that has stars. This page doesn't have stars. You understand? That we will send it to her. She should start business with it. At least the next year. Oinda will start school. Oinda is still at home because of the surgery. But that was my plans. But Moba's case occupied me so much that I didn't even think of stars. I didn't remember that I need stars. I have not gotten stars now for a month at all. So I, obviously I don't have any stars. I wanted us, but I want to also suggest because somebody... The woman is in Manchester. Before I continue, I have many things to say, one after another. The woman is in Manchester. She suggested something, and I think we should look. The funny thing is that I just started joining your life with a cause of the whole country. Because say, oh, oh, all right. Uh, thank you so much. I did quit on Bukola, my sister. Thank you so much. The, 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 the thing now is that somebody suggested something i don't know i watched your video that made that made yes i really appreciate you a lot thank you so much lillian i'm coming let me just say so somebody suggested something to me she's based in Manchester. she said when i was talking about this second hand clothes because somebody told me about a place it's very far from me it's like five hours i will have to go with public transport God, I can't drive that long. That we, you will get wholesale, second hand. I intended that if I'm able to raise some money for her, we, via my stars that you people give me, I was, I, you know, I do star party. 
I will go and help her buy it. And I will cargo it to Nigeria for her. That was my plans. But along with Babe, Oba Niko Baje, it's not yet too late. But I just want to suggest what a woman on this platform suggested to me. And we have to look for her number. I didn't store her number. But I know her. I know her very well. If she's online, she can please. She's based in Manchester. Please, ma, can you just say hello to me? I just want to play your voice note for people. If not, I will have to get in touch with your child. Because I know your child too. Your child will be able to track you down for me. Now, she said something. She said, a lot of us have things that we can give as second hand to Mama Oida. She said, she is based. Okay, boss, I'm going to call you now. Because I want you to come and tell us two things. I'm sorry, my dear. I, I need to call you. I need to go. I couldn't listen to the chat. Ori Yomi's, Uncle Ori Yomi's chat. I couldn't. I listened to it whilst coming back. I only heard maybe a few minutes. I just shared it. So I want you to come and tell me what was said. Please. And I have some questions to ask about Prime Boy. But I need to discuss this first. Now, the woman said that many of us have things that we can use as second hand. And we can send it collectively to Mama Oida. It's just a suggestion. It's just a suggestion. You don't have to agree with me if you think that it's not possible. You understand? She said she can use her own house as a depot in Manchester. That's if you are based in Manchester. If you have secondhand things, when I say secondhand things, clothes, that's what I mean. Only clothes. Oh. Yeah. She will help us, as in me now, get Ghana must go or something. They can put it together. She, 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 she can ship it from Manchester to Oida's mom in Ibadan. Abi Oromi, is it? Am I self explanatory? Abi, I should go further, I should go deeper. She, you know, I suggested that after we help Oida, we have done the surgery. I do have a lot of stuff used and unused, but shipping fees is an issue. Wait, uh, Sister Bingpe, where are you based? Sister Bingpe, where are you based? Sister Bingpe, are you are based in USA. No. Wait, ma. Wait, my sister. Do you see? This woman I'm talking about him. See? Is the mother of the woman that I want us to help. Oh, Chicago, mm -hmm. that's the thing. Yeah, UK is better. Okay, okay. Let's even do, let me even get the Manchester people. If I have people based in Manchester, you understand? Yeah, and if you think that's not possible, then I have to go and buy. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if we give her cash, I don't know. If we give her cash, we may give her cash if we give her one thousand dollars now. She may not be able to get more than a bag. And if if, if that one thousand dollars can get me two big bags and I can still cargo to her, it will earn her money. So, but I'm thinking before that, if if that's not possible yet, are, are you people making sense from what I'm saying? If that's not possible, if, if people are based in Manchester. If people are based in Manchester, if we can assemble people in Manchester and I can assemble stuff to this woman's house, at least in Manchester, we will be able to get stuff. If it's too bad, then from my end, I can then say, okay, I can send money for car going. We can just say, okay, let's just raise money for car going. I, you do understand if it's that is not possible we don't have more than only her in that in Manchester those of you that listen to me here if we don't have more than only me her in Manchester there's no what it do you get me but I expected that it will be big big bags by the time we can go it to Nigeria ah 
<laughs> when she sells, she will use at least that will keep her going. That way, we have empowered her. We've helped in taking care of Oida. We have at least heal God have healed Oida. We have taken care of Oida. Now we need to empower her because she used. I have ten big bags for boys all ages, but I'm based in the cargo is the issue. Ah, eh, maybe we should ten big bags. Ah, yepo. Ah. Hey, maybe we should raise money. Yeah, how much will they carry it? No problem, sister. Ron, care how much ten bags ah for boys all ages, but I'm be ah. Yeah, my doll, mommy, you don't want to make it, okay? Ha! Hey! We are having pay, yeah, yeah, clearance. It's not about clearance. How to get it to Nigeria is the, it's really a good story, but majority has to be for Manchester. We reduce cost. Yes, boys grow fast abroad. Miss, sister Ron, I don't understand. You said you have the bags ready on ground sister Ronke, do you mean that the bag are ready on ground please send me the pictures that's fantastic please send me the pictures i will start begging again along with the shewan beggar so that we can cargo it and do you have do you know cargo company because in london we know cargo here we know cargo here in America, do you know cargo? What am I saying? Go. Do you know the people that come to pick from the house? They are all in my basement. Oh, sister Ronke. Hey, let us use it to help somebody. Abby. Oh, God bless you. Show me the pictures. And do you know somebody that can ship? Um, do, do you understand? Like here we call. We have Nigerians. God punish you, Shade. Shade don't sin. No, Lord, you be weary. Olori buruku niye, Shade. May God allow people to bully your children. Olori buruku niye, Oloshi. Olo, you be ti chimpanzee. No, let me have time for this, Shade. Excuse me, daughter. Don't disturb me. Just leave here. Leave here. Let me do what I need to do. Now, Shade. Excuse me, Emma Binu. Please, all of you that are, we will talk about Oida. Let me answer this bastard. Wait, let me go and get your picture. Olon lo mu ekpe, ema kori buru iku yin wala to do a mebo jis lova. Ati bogo ebi ten lo ka kiri. Ema wasi bi bay. Then we spell in olu wereye. Shade Johnson. Olori buru kolon wa buli a wun mu e olu shi. Shade Johnson. Mm hmm. Look at the bastard. Look at. Madam. Madam Oloju Jijono. Can you tender me a place. Where Wumi was bullied. On this platform. By me. Toro Lori Buruku Nye. Alasho Joromi. Can you tender me a place. You see you people cannot guilt strip me. I have said what I have said. No, no, she. Then one, one more. Ewo. Ewo, weary. Ewo, weary. Ewo, no, she. Ewo, lori, buruku. Look, look at the old, no, she. Oh, no, she. Oh, no, she. jati, jati. Don't send me the picture. I have seen her pictures. Mi o te e ropo loko. Mi o ropo lo mo no. Oh, no, she. God will punish you. God will punish you. God will punish you. Olori buruku niye. Tender me a place. You want lo shi yi. E kuro lo do ame bo jis lova. E wasi bi bay. E yi te long be. A won mo yi. A tara yi. A won dile yi. A ti bo gwe ni. Te en po. To be. Log a to gwe mi. Te en she kwe si be. E yi. Ni e kwe yi dak. Ni mo ngbe kbo gbo ekpe te ba tin shen. Be ba shen ro. Lo mama dale yin lori gbo gbo yin. Te te en kbo ri min la e da. Te bo she mari foun yin. Ni yen. E wo ki ni jagba jantisi yi. To jok igba e kole. 
koti aye o se dani yen e wo ai bro were e wa bro were were to lo filter ko yi joyan na o jo akuda ya o lo si now read what this ragamuffin wrote kudi imagine ko ni da fun e pe oporuko mi pe lenu e o n sere ni se mo je bi egbe ni abo le bi mi lomo ni so ya were ni why to she laru ko mo mi lori tani sa wa wu en bi bai so wo were abi ki lo nse leyi na obirin to ni stroke lenu yi so wo were ki lo fi to fi poruko mi se ori e daru ni ki lo farin fi anti won lenu e look at this woman to she i bro soju bro ti won ti se ti pe ti pe ta won yan se mo ti were e de wa ba mi nbi bai jeje mi ni mo joko As you can see what I titled my chat, or on you ori yomi, ni mo fe so mo den so ron mo wata adopt lori planeti. Mo ni planet, lori, lori kini. This bombastic element o lo shi yi. Mo ko loko, mo un wabo ya o loko, o ti e la won mo mo, o lori buru ko o lo shi. E wo o lo mo, o de wan daru ko mo mi ko ni da fun e ka la le ba ni pe ko ba da fun e ala le na tun ni je ko tun da fun e titi lai lai because you people see me pe i don't look for una trouble i dey my lane ma duro saye mi o lori buruku yin can you take this to other bloggers their platform can you you won lo shi se bo wa na lo mo kunrin can you expect this to happen to your son? You this bastard. What happened to Mobile? Badura Koshele somewhere. Oh no, she.